so raw. I watched this uh, Tuesday afternoon, long after I had heard that CM Punk violently assaulted a man, and I was so excited. So I... wait a second. You hadn't seen any of it on the internet? No. Really? I'd heard about it, of course. Have you seen it on the internet yet? Yes. So you've I've... seen the extended version? I, well, I, I, I have not... I've seen. I saw the version you posted on on your website. Okay, that's the good one. Uh, yeah. Um, it looks like there's a lot of people. I I, I, saw, I clicked a bunch of videos that all went to the same thing. So yes, uh, I I was uh, looking forward to this carnage, and then when I actually saw what happened, and I thought he he hit Vincent Man harder and more in the fake fight than he did in this alleged actual assault. I don't know. That was a wild backhand. Kinda. A day later, I don't even know. I still haven't really made up my mind whether... I don't know what to think about the whole thing. Uh, There's a part of me that's like, what a complete idiot for just swinging wildly. But then there's the other part of me that's like, all right, if I were in the stands and uh, some dude kept hitting me in the back of the head twice, I'd want to kick that guy's ass. It happened like six times. Now, granted, he, people. The, the issue is he also hit the wrong guy. Well... That guy, and it was in the process of taking a photo, but it, he he bumped CM Punk in the head, and it was like the sixth guy, someone accident, someone purpose, to hit Punk. I know, but he didn't mean to. He got he someone bumped him from behind, and he bumped into CM Punk. He didn't do anything on purpose. He was a completely innocent bystander who got waffled. But at the end of the day, I just my conclusion is this: Punk shouldn't have hit anybody, but. I understand why Punk wildly swung, because he was in a mob scene. Yeah. But the big issue to me, at the end of the day, the blame goes on WWE for sending this dude into the crowd with no security. What the hell did you expect to happen when a mob scene started? Him just to stand there and get beaten on? Of course, at some point, the guy's going to flip out if you hit him enough times. So, again, I, I, uh, I don't think that they can reprimand him because at the end of the day, it is their fault. It's their fault that normally when they send a guy into a crowd, they have like 10 security guys there ready at the drop of a dime to tackle these idiot fans that, that go out of their way to actually attack. They he brag being, about it. He was being attacked. Yeah. So at the end of the day, it's their fault. It is their fault. And I don't feel that he should be reprimanded. I don't think he did the right thing. I understand why he did it, but I don't think he did the right thing. But I don't I don't feel he should be reprimanded for it because they put him in a bad situation and uh and he responded the way that uh an average person would respond if they were if they were uh you know, if he felt he was being attacked, which is how he felt. I I, I... So Jesus Christ, you idiots, get security out there if you're gonna send a guy into the crowd. That's that's the that's the end of the day. That's the, uh, that's the conclusion I have drawn. I know it's 2012. They're at fault. I know it's 2012, and I know times change. But I can't help but wonder, if Bruiser Brody were alive today, and you explained to him that a wrestler went into the crowd, and some of the fans got physical with this wrestler, and so he struck one of them, you think he'd be upset? <laughs> he'd say, of course he did! He should have done it first! I understand that, but the difference is that if Bruiser Brody ran into the crowd... Everybody would flee in terror. Yeah. <laughs> CM Punk went into the crowd and everybody tried to beat him up. Yes. So That's, an, that's also part of the problem. That, yeah, that is part of the problem. But it's also because fans today know that this guy isn't allowed to hit me. Yeah. <laughs> but he did! So, yes. It's just a whole... The whole I thing was be, a disaster. I will be very... I'll be, I'll be very upset if he gets in any serious trouble out of this. The fact that he hasn't gotten in trouble yet, I think WWE realizes that this was their own fault. Yeah. That 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 he should not have been out there alone. You know, if you watch the video, if you watch the video, it is at least 30 seconds before a security guy gets out there and Punk's been shoved and this and that. And he has, and listen, he didn't even swing wildly until he'd been pushed and prodded and punched and et cetera. For like a good 15, 20 seconds. Over and over and over again. And the security didn't even come out there until after he'd backhanded, lunged at the guy, and then turned right back around to continue this, this angle here. Yeah. It took security forever to get out there with him. Now, granted, 
I don't know what was supposed to happen. I don't know if that was where he was supposed to go. I don't know if he called his own audible to go into the crowd there. I actually don't know. I didn't even think about asking. But uh, wherever he was, he should have been surrounded by 10 guys protecting him. And he wasn't. So that's why I feel that the WWE should an apology. They should an apology on behalf of him. And I think that's the last we're going to hear of it. I mean, even if the guy presses charges, I'm sure they'll... My guess is they, you know, settle. But... They shouldn't have let him out there, and they did. So they they can't really reprimand him because they threw him to the wolves. And then he shot a wolf, basically, is what (laughs) happened. What do you expect to happen? I don't know why that was so funny. I like wolves. Uh, So that was my most intriguing part of the show by far. One other thing about Punk. All right. I just want to say this. This is why I don't 100% uh, this is why my initial thought was, in fact, what an idiot. Because I know that twice Punk looked behind him to where, to the guy he thought was pushing him, who, in fact, never actually pushed him on purpose. I know that he did look back twice. But when he actually retaliated, it was a blind swing. That's, that's the thing that actually, that's the thing that I, I, can't, I can't justify that at all. That, that I feel, was stupid. Because you don't know if there was a kid back there. You don't know if the guy moved and there was there was a girl behind him or an old lady or an old man or anybody. You know, the guy he hit just happened to be, he appeared to be a pretty large, pretty young male. So, you know, his face, he said, was warm and that sort of thing. But what if it had been, what if an 85-year-old woman had been standing behind that guy? On a chair? And that guy, yeah, shoved uh, shoved Punk and then moved. You know, and then Punk does his wild swing and knocks an 85-year-old woman ass over tea kettle off a chair. You know what I mean? If, if like, when a wrestler is, when a fan and a wrestler have a confrontation, I mean, to me, it's got to be face-to-face with the guy. The guy's got to lay his hand on you. And then, to me, lay that fucker out. Uh, that's what I think. But, and this is this is exactly why. The guy he laid out was not the guy who had done anything. Two other guys caused the problem, and neither of those guys got hit. The wrong guy, an innocent party, got hit because he just took a wild, blind swing. That's why I I can't completely justify what he did. You know, he felt threatened and, and you know, that's things happen and but you, you can't just like think you know who it is and just swing blindly at them. That that you just can't do. So that that's my big issue with the whole thing from the punk perspective. So you want him to I guess wait until he's actually attacked badly? Or? Well, no, but I mean it, was he supposed to say, Hold on, Vince, I must determine who is striking me now. Well, it was <laughs> It, it's it, he was in a bad position. That's why, again, I said the guy shouldn't be reprimanded. But I just you can't swing wildly. <laughs> you can't blindly swing wildly behind you. You know what I mean? I, I horrible analogy, but if he would have had a firearm, he couldn't just start shooting in the crowd. You know what I mean? Because he well, felt I, in I, danger. I was thinking the other way, uh, sort of. What if the fan had had a knife? Well, again, <laughs> if the fan would it's... have had a knife, he hit the wrong guy. And but, he would have still been stabbed. <laughs> You're, listen, again, it all comes down to there should have been 10 security guys out there when the dude ran into the crowd. I just don't think that this blindly swinging wildly behind you was, was the best course of action. I think his number one priority in that situation is to defend himself. That's true. That is correct. That's my opinion on it. I, I agree. But the fact is, he hit the wrong guy. He missed the attackers completely. He he, ach- he accomplished his mission of defending himself. <laughs> no, actually, he did it. He's just lucky the two attackers were like, "Oh, all right, good. I, I'm gonna stay away from him now." <laughs> that, 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 if that if 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 punk hitting the wrong guy got the right guys to stop attacking him, then it worked. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> That's usually not how I, I like to fight if, crime. If, oh, tell me more. Well, you know, more Phoenix Jones. Let's go. <laughs> if if there's a bunch of robberies in my town, and uh, and and I decide to stop the robberies by taking a gun and like mowing down my neighbor, so it makes headlines that hey, this guy carries a gun. That to me is not like a good way to stop future robberies. Probably right. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Although I'm sure some of our listeners will disagree. But anyway, let's talk about raw. That was far and away the the best part of Raw.